and of course every teacher teaches a bow slightly different and the bow that I the, the bow hole that I have would be the French school of violin bow most classically trained violinists or violists are going to use this bow which predominantly has that curved pinky finger that curved thumb in place and if you are a young player your number one problem is this it's a thumb that's bent inwards and it will be a source of many problems and you will not get better until you fix it so your thumb should be curved at the very least at the very least slightly curved right and your pinky many young players do this and you will never get anywhere playing like this so relax as long as there is tension in your hand you will not be able to develop your bowing technique so you have to get rid of tension and your grip has to be extremely relaxed when I teach lessons I sometimes tell my students to pull the bow out of my hand and I'll be playing and they will just yank it out and it falls right out because I'm I'm letting the weight of the bow rest on the string I'm not holding the bow I'm letting the bow rest on the string I'm pulling and pushing the bow but I'm letting the weight of it rest on the string does that make sense now the pinky does have some work to do when you lift the bow the way that I just did the pinky has a little bit of work to do to help the bow get off the string but there's a that 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 um, work that the pinky does immediately goes back to relaxation so the tension goes away if any muscle if any muscle and if you're pronating for example to get a louder sound that pronation is there but you are not gripping the bow you're adding a little bit of weight to your hand right transferring the weight from your arm into your hand a little bit of weight but it's never a grip it's never a grip and that definitely you want to avoid so relax your hand long story short relax your hand mm -hmm.